All right, so here we have the uh, remote script for the block uh, for Ableton Live. This is just a quick intro video. Um, this is the first version of it. It's a beta version. You saw that we have the OM64. Pretty much does uh, the same thing. Um, some of the controls are a little bit different. So um, just like we did with the OM64, we're going to download the remote script from our site, um, open up uh, Live. You want to right-click on Show Package Contents. And in App Resources, there's a folder called MIDI Remote Scripts. You just want to drop the block folder in there. Um, so now it'll be a device in Live, and it automatically maps everything and gives you the uh, red box. So in Live, uh, just go into your Preferences, select Block as your device, and it should be good to go. Um, it would help if I had my block plugged into the right computer. All right, so here we go. Block's connected, selected as my input and output, and... I have everything working. So you'll see here um, that the red box is uh, controlled by these buttons so I can scroll it up and down, left and right. Um, all of the uh, faders, uh, the, these two faders are mapped to the device rack. Um, all these faders are for um, the volume for each channel. And then the uh, BPM button, the livid button is uh, mute. Um, we're going to be adding some functionality so we can use this as a shift. Um, so I could, for example, have these mapped to um, uh, the device rack, and I could just toggle with this and switch between uh, volume and device rack. Uh, and if you guys have any other uh, suggestions, you can pop onto our forums and suggest a, uh, a control. Um, and we'll be expanding this as we go on. But this really gives you some really nice basic control over live, uh, like APC40 style. So... Uh, the first seven columns launch clips, and the last column launches a scene, so I can go ahead and launch a scene. This is master. Then I can trigger different clips. And if I go to my... You'll see this is automatically... device uh, map to the device rack so I can go ahead and so now I'm just automatically mapping it to um, the selected device uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll you can see as I scroll it shows my uh, clips that are launched their status update I can go ahead down here to a different set. So there you go, there's the basic functionality of the remote script for the block. If you want to try it, just download it from our website on, the, on our support forums. And if there's anything else you'd like to see here, uh, let us know. And special thanks to Mike Chenitz from MaxForLive.info. He's the one who created this script and is adding all this cool functionality to our controllers.